Today we have brought you the latest Tesla news. Tesla is most popular used EV brand in CarMax's 2023 electric vehicle consumer report. Elon Musk taking a page from Henry Ford's playbook with Tesla price cuts, says Ford CEO. Tesla wins Kelly Blue Book's 2023 five-year cost to own award for premium EVs. And Tesla makes automatic emergency braking even safer in update. Let's get into all the details. So let's get started. CarMax, the United States' largest used car retailer, has observed a significant increase in consumer interest in electric vehicles, particularly Teslas. The firm's findings were outlined in the company's 2023 electric vehicle consumer report. According to CarMax, searches for electric vehicles doubled between February 2022 and February 2023. This spike in interest was initially detected in February and March of the previous year, a time that saw rising gas prices amid the escalating war in Ukraine. Peak search interest occurred in October, which was around the time when new rules for the U.S. federal EV tax credit were being implemented. CarMax's dealership and online shopping data provided insights into the most popular used electric vehicles in their inventory. Based on February 2023 sales data, all four of Tesla's existing lineup of electric vehicles ended up in CarMax's top 10 list. The Model 3 and Model Y were the top two most popular electric cars at CarMax. Average prices at CarMax for the Tesla Model 3 were listed at $37,000, while the Model Y's average price was listed at $47,807. The Model X, which was seventh on the firm's list, had an average selling price of $72,136, and the Tesla Model S, which was eighth on the list, had an average selling price of $63,331. Tesla's dominance in EV purchases is quite unsurprising, considering the company's strong presence in the electric vehicle sector. Tesla's aggressive price cuts, which were implemented this year, likely caused a surge in interest among used EV buyers as well. The CarMax report also touched on trade inactivity, which showed some interesting consumer behaviors. For one, CarMax observed that the Toyota Tacoma is one of the most common vehicles that are traded in for a Tesla Model 3. This was despite the apparent lack of similarity between the pickup truck and the all-electric sedan. For used Tesla Model Y SUVs or Model S luxury sedans, the most frequently traded in vehicle was a Tesla Model 3. Moving to the next update, Elon Musk taking a page from Henry Ford's playbook with Tesla price cuts, says Ford CEO. Ford CEO Jim Farley recently commented that Elon Musk's strategy of lowering electric vehicle prices to maintain sales volume over profit margins is actually quite reminiscent of Henry Ford's approach with the Model T. Farley noted that Musk's aggressive pricing strategy for Tesla's all-electric vehicle lineup has historical roots. Amidst Tesla's ambitious delivery and production targets, Musk has opted to protect volume over profit margins. Musk highlighted this during the Q1 2023 earnings call, when he noted that Tesla could sell its cars at low profits if needed, since the company could profit in the future with products like full self-driving. This, as per Farley, was something right out of Henry Ford's Model T playbook. The Ford CEO noted that the automotive trailblazers' strategies were outlined in the book 1913, which takes a close look at the year. Ford became a mass producer of automobiles. This has all happened before, Farley said, as noted in an insider report. Similar to Musk, Henry Ford reportedly slashed the prices of the Model T to boost sales in 1913. This was around the time when Ford started using a conveyor belt on the Model T assembly line, which allowed the automaker to build more units of the ubiquitous vehicle at greater volumes. In a way, Tesla is quite a bit on its own Model T moment. The company has all but mastered the mass production of its mainstream vehicles, the Model 3 sedan and Model Y crossover. Tesla is also busy with its preparations for the build-out of its most affordable car yet, which will be produced at Gigafactory Mexico. For now, however, Tesla's focus has been to sell as many vehicles as possible. As of 2023, 
Musk has decreased the prices of Tesla's most popular models multiple times to achieve a production goal of 1.8 million, or perhaps even 2 million, vehicles for the year. This strategy has impacted Tesla's profit margins and raised concerns among investors, but Musk believes it is laying the groundwork for future gains. But while Musk's pricing strategy is very similar to Henry Ford, Farley also offered some cautionary advice to his fellow CEO. I think what he's going to learn is, product freshness means a lot. The product gets commoditized, and then you lose your pricing premium. That's a really dangerous thing, Farley said. Henry Ford eventually learned this lesson, and he proceeded to roll out new colors in the Model A. At the time, however, Chevrolet had already become the top car brand in the US. Moving to the next update, Tesla wins Kelly Blue Book's 2023 five-year cost to own award for premium EVs. Consumers are well aware that vehicle ownership involves not only the purchase price of cars, but also the vehicle's total cost of ownership. This includes everything from fuel to maintenance, insurance, and a car's depreciation. With this in mind, Kelly Blue Book named its 2023 model year brand and category winners of its five-year cost to own awards. The awards are given to vehicles with the lowest projected ownership costs over their initial five-year ownership period. Janice Yole, senior manager of valuations for Kelly Blue Book, explained why a vehicle's long-term costs are pertinent for consumers. According to Kelly Blue Book's recent five-year cost to own awards, the Tesla Model 3 and Model Y are the best among their premium electric vehicle peers. The Tesla Model 3 won the luxury electric car category, while the Tesla Model Y secured the top spot in the awards luxury electric SUV segment. The awards earned by the Model 3 and Model Y are not quite surprising, considering the sheer dominance of the two vehicles in the United States auto market. Amidst Tesla's aggressive pricing strategy this year, the Model 3 and Model Y are both becoming more affordable too, which could effectively make the electric vehicles even more popular than before. Other notable electric vehicles also won spots in Kelly Blue Book's awards. The vehicle listed as the winner of the electric truck category, for one, is the Ford F-150 Lightning. This suggests that the Lightning beat the Rivian R1T and the GMC Hummer EV for the spot. The awards for the electric car and electric SUV categories were also won by the Chevy Bolt EV and Chevy Bolt EUV, which are poised to be retired by GM. Moving to the last update, Tesla makes automatic emergency braking even safer in update. Tesla has made its automatic emergency braking, a EB, even safer by adding the ability to operate in reverse and increasing its operational top speed. A EB is a feature that is found in many cars and is an active safety system that can identify an imminent collision and automatically apply the brakes, helping prevent an impact. The feature has been used to eliminate the potential of an accident and has been made standard in many cars, especially as distracted driving is at an all-time high. While the feature is already incredibly safe, Tesla took it a step further by adding two new features, the ability for the vehicle to stop when backing up and by increasing the top speed it can operate in a new update. Tesla made the updates in the 2023.12 software update, according to Not A Tesla app, and noted them in the updated owner's manual. Tesla previously noted that AEB was operational to help prevent frontal collisions, but has since updated the wording in the owner's manual to reduce the impact of front and reverse collisions with limited functionality while in reverse. Additionally, Tesla increased the AEB system's top speed range from 3 miles per hour to 124 miles per hour. It was previously 3 miles per hour to 90 miles per hour. There are also updates to when the AEB system will not activate. Sharply applying the brakes in some situations can actually make things more dangerous, so Tesla's AEB systems will not activate in the following situations. The steering wheel is turned sharply. Pressing and releasing the brake pedal while AEB is already applying the brakes. Accelerating at a quick rate while AEB is attempting to apply brakes. And, the object, pedestrian, or vehicle that was spotted, is no longer detected. 
Tesla continues to add new features to attempt to increase safety in its vehicles. The revisions to the AEB system will benefit owners and drivers, but also those surrounding the vehicle. That's it for now. So what are your thoughts about this? Let us know in the comments. Stay tuned at the electric arena for all the latest Tesla and electric vehicle news.